friends, welcome back. I am Agam and you are in my channel Agam Tech Tricks. Today I will show you how to make PowerShell look beautiful and awesome with Oh My Posh. Basically this is a prompt theme engine for any shell but as it is compatible with PowerShell also. So today I will show you how to put themes in your PowerShell and make it look beautiful. Like by default PowerShell has this theme like which is very basic and simple. So uh, this Oh My Posh shell has so many themes. I'll just show you once here in themes. Here there are so many themes which will like make your terminal look beautiful. You can customize it also yourself. So like this and uh, this is like basically very simple way to install. I'll give you this link in the description of the website. So to install it uh, like we can there are many ways and it's also compatible with Mac OS ZSH and then Linux Bash etc. So like that uh, to, but today I'll show you with PowerShell. So let's start. To install it uh, like you need first the nerd fonts because those icons like we have these icons. For example this node.js icon, heart icon and this folder icon. They all need a font called nerd font which includes all those icons. So what you have to just do is like here it's written to display all icons we recommend the use of a nerd font just click it. So here what you have to just do is click on this Meslo LGM NF font and it will download a zip file of all the fonts like which is required. It depends on your network like how much time it takes to download. And after that just go to your downloads folder here and then we have this zip file just extract it here right click and then extract all and then you can just click extract it has all the fonts which are required after that open this meslo folder and these are all the fonts to just install it all the fonts automatically like no need to click one and again and again and install select all control a and then right click show more options and install or install for all users and then it will just like I had it installed before so I'll just do it yes otherwise if it will ask you you can also do just yes yep so it's now installed and what you have to do is open your windows terminal and then go to the arrow drop down and then go to settings. So what we have to do basically is change the uh, font of the Windows PowerShell to make it compatible with the Oh My Posh themes. So here we have then go to the appearance and here in font phase we have to select like we can select any and like for example it's mentioned here Meslo LGS LGM1. So you can just select any like there are many options as we have installed. You can just go with this first one also or this one. I'll go with this one as it's mentioned here. So now uh, just click save after selecting the font. After that, now you can close the terminal and open it again like for the changes to take effect basically. Now coming to the installation part, we have four options to install. Winget like it has, it is inbuilt in Windows and Scoop is a package manager I've already made a video on it like how to install it and then using the PowerShell gallery so like and one more option is chocolatey so it's also a package manager and you can install that and use this also like if you have it already installed but as Winget is already installed in uh, Windows basically so I'll just go with this no need to install extra things so what you have to do is just copy this command or select and control C and then paste it here. No need to be administrator to do that. And then press enter and it will start installing. And yes, so it's now installed and it installs now two executables. Windows executable this uh, which is used to run the theme engine and then all the latest on my posh themes like which I showed you before here. So now this is for just updating to use the latest package. So like we have just installed so no need to update. And now the main part replace your existing prompt. Like here we have this normal 
prompt so we will just change it to use the oh my posh prompt so what we have to do uh, it has downloaded all the themes in this folder app data local programs i'll just show you here Here, it has all the themes which are downloaded. So here, for example, as they have given Jandal this one theme. So I'll just show you this also and then you can just do anything. So for example, we can refer to it like using this part, uh, this theme. Like we have this command to set up uh, the shell. So like uh, as they have copied in the home folder, I'll just directly link it to this. You can copy it from here or choose whatever theme you want like what we have to do is basically replace this name this theme name with whatever theme we want and then what we have to do is edit our profile so basically our profile is like uh, whenever we start our powershell so we can run custom scripts and then customize like powershell for example we will customize it using oh my posh so what we have to do is just in our terminal write notepad profile and then press enter and it will open our profile file and if it says that profile file is not found just click yes and uh, it will create a new one for you and what we have to do is just copy this command and paste it in the top like i already have some things here so here now after this like i had showed you here we can just link this one instead of in the copying it in the home folder and just paste it in here and then just click control s to save it and then close it now what you have to do is just close your powershell and open it again and we have the new prompt now and if it says like you cannot run your shell and uh, uh, like a script is disabled in your system so i'll give you a command in the description just copy it and run basically it allows you to run the scripts in the system in the powershell so like this we have uh, successfully installed our prompt shell with themes now uh, talking about another themes like here we have all the themes you can just choose any for example i'll go with atomic so what you have to do like i had uh, shown you all the themes we have and it's there atomic.omp.json so just open again our profile file mm, here and just change your theme name for example here we have atomic.omp.json file and just save it close and uh, if you want to just directly uh, like uh, change the theme and don't want to close and terminal open then you can just do dot profile or you can close and open too Psst. yes so here we have our another theme and like this there are so many themes you can just change anything so like this and uh, now comes uninstallation like them uh, you can here we have installed successfully So now like this we have installed this theme and uh, we have basically installed oh my posh and you can just change themes whatever you want to config and i'll just link you the docs in the description now if you want to uninstall it they don't uh, have a, a documentation of uninstalling it but i'll show you what you have to do is basically like uh, you can use whatever way you want for example you used uh, we used winget so just copy this and instead of install just type uninstall and here also for example scoop we can do uninstall and in the same for the chocolatey and powershell too so like what you have to do is powershell i'm not uh, like not confirmed but okay so as we have used winget just do winget uninstall and this command like it depends on what you way you use to install install and after that uh, to revert to the default theme like it will use just this ps thing uh, so what you have to do is again open your note profile file in notepad 
and then remove this first line like which we used to configure oh my posh and then delete it and save it and then close it and then you can just do dot profile or normally you can just close it and open it here we are in the default scene so like this we can install oh my posh configure and i've also shown you to how to uninstall it so thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel.